There are some key reasons why QuickTax Web has evolved into the best way to do personal taxes. Convenience and accuracy certainly top the list. But when you consider how long it actually takes you to complete your taxes, doing your return yourself and online is also a very economical solution. Plus, if you get a refund, you're going to get it much faster if you e-file. That is a nice bonus. So let's take a look at QuickTax Web. I wanted to show you a few of the tools that Dee and Dan identified. And when you start a return, they're going to ask you if you're a first-time user of QuickTax Web or not. If you're just beginning, QuickTax Web is going to walk you step-by-step -step through the process. But one of the nice things about QuickTax Web is that once you've signed up, you can come back to your return as often as you need. Also, if you used QuickTax Web to complete your taxes last year, then you've got the option of transferring all your personal data into your new return. So you won't need to add name, address, social insurance number, all of that sort of information. This saves time on this return. But if you didn't use it last year, no problem. You're going to have to fill in a few extra fields this year. But next year, you're going to gain the benefit of being able to bring this year's information forward. So let's go in to QuickTax Web. When you start a return, they're going to ask you if you're a first-time user of QuickTax Web or not. Now, if you're just beginning, QuickTax Web is going to walk you step-by-step -step through the whole process. But one of the nice things about QuickTax Web is that once you've signed up, you can go away and come back to your return as often as you need. So I've already started my return. Let's say I went away for a few days. Now I'm coming back, and I'm going to continue working on my return because I have a little more information to add. So once you get into the heart of QuickTax Web, you're going to see that it consists of a series of questions that you need to answer. This is the beginning of that process, which is called Easy Step Express. The folks at Intuit are mad about tax preparation. They're crazy. They're constantly trying to develop easier ways for us to prepare our return. Easy Step Express is what they call this whole interview process that helps us each step of the way. And this is very typical. Here it's saying, are you married? And you say, yes, I'm married. And then you continue on to the next stage, just answering questions. It's all based on working from simple to the more complex. 80% of all Canadians use the same small number of tax forms because that's all most of us need. We start out with those forms here, and the small percentage of us who have more complex needs are addressed as we move through the process. Now, in the income area, let's just go in and edit it. I've already filled out this information once, but you can always go back in and modify it if you need. But this is based on the T4 that you're going to get from your employer. And most people, probably 90% of Canadians, are going to get a T4 with this number of boxes on it. So you just transcribe the information from the boxes on your T4 into the boxes here. QuickTax Web will take care of doing all the calculations where it's needed and moving the information forward into other boxes where they're needed. So there's no more carrying this forward from line 45 to line 97. They take care of that for us. Now, in a very small percentage of cases, there's going to be some more forms on your T4. If you're a person today that gets stock options from their company, well, that is added by clicking on another button and seeing more boxes. 90% of us never need to see this part of the screen, but the few that do can get to it very easily. As you work your way through, you're going to ultimately get into the RRSP area, which we discussed in detail with both Dan and Dee, and the RRSP optimizer is a great resource. And let me show you how graphic it is. So here's my return right now. Now, I've got a joint return started here between my wife and I. If we look up in the top right-hand side of the screen, we see a total of Iowa balance right now of $10,000. I'm not a very happy puppy right now. But if I look down in here in the very bottom, it says that my portion of that, actually Steve's portion, is $2,124. So if I was to contribute, say, $2,000 to RRSPs, then I'm only going to owe $1,300 might make it worth my while to buy some RRSPs this year, reduce my taxable income, and I can quickly click on Sue's return, and I can check the exact same thing there. What if we buy Sue, say, $3,000 worth of RRSPs, and we can see graphically immediately how much money we are going to save by contributing to the RRSPs. Continue on through the process, filling out all the forms, and you'll finally hit the review process. This is another very important part of Easy Step Express because at the very end, QuickTax Web looks back over our entire return, all the fields that we've entered, and now it's going to ask us some more questions. It's going to look and say, well, you know what? I think you might have missed some opportunities somewhere along the line. For example, you didn't claim your GST credit. Would you like to? And so it's going to ask us questions and help us fill in the extra information that will hopefully get us a better return. They also have, down the left-hand side here, access to things like the bottom line, which is a summary of all of the information that we've entered so far. And that gives us basically all the information, all the data in one place so that we can summarize. If we take a look here, we'll see that there's a detailed tax summary, which gives me line by line all the different information 
from my tax return. Remember how Dee and Dan spoke about how good the online help was? Take a look here. If I want fishing income, I don't think my fly fishing counts as fishing income, but if I want to check, I click, and now I'm brought into the help area, and it is very robust, very deep. This is going to answer all the questions. You don't have to flip through a book. It's all context sensitive. The final stage in your whole return is going to the very last page here, which is the print and file. And this is where you actually end up having to pay. So up till now, you can return to QuickTax several times, adding new information, modifying your information, but you don't actually pay for your return till you finally file. Nothing's going to take the sting out of realizing that you owe the government money on your return. Sorry. But if you complete your taxes and realize that is indeed the case, well, uh, you can always go back and play a little more with the RRSP calculator. That might help things. But conversely, it is great to discover that there is a refund in your future. At least, I've heard it's great. It's been a while since I've actually had the pleasure. Well, regardless of which side of the line you fall on, you're going to reach the result more quickly, less painfully, by taking advantage of all the work Intuit has done with QuickTax Web. And one nice thing for those in the lowest income brackets, Intuit waives the fee for using the service. And that is a classy thing. We've run out of time. Thanks for joining us. See you next time on Dotto Tech.